Today, we're going to discuss the second part of the general measures to protect the kidneys. So we, I think we discuss uh, maybe six uh, topics, uh, so six recommendations last time. So we will go to number seven. Before that, just to introduce myself again, I'm Dr. Francisco, I'm a specialist nephrologist and a transplant immunologist working at Francisco Kidney Medical Center in Singapore. This is the bite-sized information for kidney and related diseases to empower patients to know more about their disease or their relatives so that it can take better control of the disease and manage it better so they can have less worries and complications, yeah? Okay, let's start. So let uh, this is regarding uh, diet restrictions. Number seven. So if your doctor prescribed certain diet restrictions to protect your kidneys, the so-called renal diet, it is better that you consult an experienced dietitian. She or he will guide you. It will be simpler and more effective if you do it together with a dietitian than figuring it out yourself those diet recommendations and restrictions. Um, because sometimes you might not know what actually mean. The dietitian can then translate that into a tailored diet plan for your needs. In general, patients with kidney problems benefit from a diet low in sodium, low in fat, low in sugar, and in many occasions, low in potassium as well, and low in phosphate. And uh, some people also recommendate low in protein. Remember, apart from the diet, some patients, when uh, the diet control is not that very good, they need to take some medications to control the phosphate, the phosphate lower medications uh, that people, some people call them uh, phosphate binders. But ideal is to improve the diet so that you don't need to take so many of these tablets because many of them, especially the ones that contain calcium, are quite toxic for the blood vessels. They can make them stiff. They can, um, you know, increase the blood pressure. Can uh, has been associated with uh, heart with risk factors, etc. So, diet at the end of the day is is the best. But indeed, can be very very restrictive in patients with kidney problems. So very unpalatable. So that's why you can con uh, consult a dietitian that has got a lot of experience on that, so that they can make a diet that has all the benefits, still allow you to try the food that maybe you like in, in moderation, but you try to abide to the restrictions as much as you can. But what I can tell you about diet is like actually the, my patients, uh, you know, patients I have seen through the last uh, decade plus, all the patients that live a more frugal life, have a more frugal diet, they tend to do better they tend to live longer, they tend to, to have less complications than patients that, that actually keep eating whatever they want, they live a sedentary life, a passive life, just that allow the doctors to, to give them medication if there is an issue, if they, they think it worse, or oh, give me more medications. So when actually, as I said in many of the other videos, everything is self-care. So everything is start with you, uh, improving your diet, your lifestyle, your have a more positive mind, etc. Okay, I, that's uh, a little bit uh, on diet restriction is very important. Then uh, number eight, uh, that is now a specific of protein restriction. Um, some people is uh, trying to to say that protein restriction is not necessary. Um, so I think the because can bring a lot of problems i think it has to be a good balance uh because indeed some of the the toxins derived from you know proteins some of the uremic toxins are from proteins but you know in also if the protein restriction is too much you can become a nurse and have other problems so i think consult your doctor uh consult the dietitian because indeed uh, there are patients that can benefit, but some patients, if not done correctly, can lead to other problems like malnutrition. No? Why people advocate that? Because has been there have been associations with uh, retardation in the progression of the disease, meaning that came 
prolong the, the life of the kidney. So that's why kidney doctors uh, advocate a protein restriction. But as I mentioned, consult your doctor or consult me, huh? consult a uh, clinic and dietitian. And first, to know if it is necessary. Second, to what degree? Because this must be adjusted greatly to the degree of kidney dysfunction. The protein restriction or all these uh, diet restrictions are not the same for uh, all the different stages of kidney disease, not all the same for all the patients. Everyone is different, yeah? So, and also they need to be adjusted to your nutri nutritional condition. And if you have any other accompanying diseases, um, so, and also ideal uh, to try to make your diet a little more balanced and avoid over I already mentioned, uh, because malnutrition can have a lot of consequences in you, you know? So, uh, do consult a doctor and dietitian, especially if the kidney disease is uh, advanced, because people with more advanced disease are more susceptible to malnutrition and all the consequences, yeah? Let's go to uh, number nine, that is control your fluid intake, what we call fluid or water restriction. It is important to stress that it is fluid restriction, not only water restriction, because, uh, you know, many patients, uh, they just understand that, uh, and they only control water, but they still are drinking other, other, other fluids, other uh, beverages. So because uh, it's fluid restriction, including any fluid, including also coffee, soda uh, juices, soups, watery dishes like porridge, or even fruits like watermelon or other watery fruits. So also vegetables can give you water, no? Um, a lot of water. So many, because indeed, uh, many patients claim that they uh, attach very well to the water restriction. And I do believe, but because sometimes they are not taking into consideration all the other fluids or watery food that they can take into account. Um, so just uh, revise that now for other potential sources of water. In patients with more advanced stages of kidney disease, actually fluid restriction might be necessary and a strict fluid restriction, uh, especially as the disease keeps progressing because the kidneys cannot handle the excess of fluid. Remember the kidneys normally control the water content in, in your body, but if the kidneys are not working very well, uh, if you drink a lot, they cannot excess, uh, excrete that excess of water. So people tend to re retain water. Um, this uh, or the water is the vital fluid when your kidneys do not work well and start creating your body this excess of water can be actually very toxic um, and can endanger life even so i know it is very difficult even you know all everywhere i go i carry a bottle of water but although it can be very difficult you need to understand that it is very important because the kidneys not working well, they can eliminate excess of, of, uh, of fluid. So if your doctor prescribes this fluid restriction, try to attach to it. Otherwise you can develop this overload, uh, fluid retention I'm talking about, that is not only in, you know, in the legs, it can cause breathlessness, tire, tiredness, yeah? and potentially can flood the lungs and precipitating an episode of heart failure needing emergent hospital admission or worse. Um, it's sad to say, I'm not trying to scare you, but just put you into perspective. Uh, some of my patients for delaying dialysis or for not controlling the water very well and leave, leave it to the last moment, have to be admitted in the middle of the night and many of them have actually not made it, unfortunately. So uh, it is very difficult, but it is very important. If you have difficulties managing these and other things, just consult the doctor, consult me, you know? Um, so in addition, by not controlling the water for long periods of time, not even that, even maybe you never need to go to A&E for never, but by not controlling, but you always have high levels of water in your body, 
that actually makes your car overwork. It's like more, uh, more blood, more water to pump in each bead. It's not that the heart is going to be stronger. On the contrary, it's going to get fatigued and then can cause, uh, with time, uh, chronic heart failure. Um, so it's very important that you control water for avoiding acute episodes, but also for, for uh, protecting your heart and many other organs. No? Also can increase the, the blood pressure and the blood pressure when it's high uh, can uh, be also toxic to other organs, can be uh, damaged other organs. And also it's more difficult to control the blood pressure when you have a lot of water in the body. No? So to, to prevent this fluid overload, obviously uh, if there's a diet restriction in your prescription, try to do it. Also, if there is a salt uh, restriction on diet, try to attach to it because uh, salty food, first of all, triggers diet, uh, uh, thirst, yeah? So, and also, salt is sort of a sponge for water. So you will be more likely to retain the water. Um, so it is, it is very important. And as I mentioned, increases the blood pressure. Um, some patients need to take water tablets to eliminate excess of water. It is, some patients cannot avoid it, but in some, if they will co were to control better the water and, and, um, and uh, salt intake, they might avoid them or they might need to take a reduced amount of these water tablets, also called diuretics, no? Um, and also these water tablets work better if you take, uh, you have less water to remove and also they work better if you have a salt restriction in your diet, yeah. Um, let's move to number 10. Attending appointments and not missing them, even if you feel okay, is very important. Because if you miss it, you might, by thinking that uh, it's, you're okay and you think you're saving time, hassle and money, Especially if your doctor is telling you that everything is fine every time you see the doctor and everything is stable, still you need to go because that is crucial. You, first of all, will gain, gain peace of mind uh, knowing that the current approach is working and you are doing the necessary. But if something goes off the scale, you can know it immediately and start acting on it and avoiding a complication, yeah? Because if missing appointments, and if there was an issue there, you can miss it totally, or at least delay discovery. And in the meantime, you can suffer from that. Let's say your blood pressure, it was very high. You don't have major symptoms, or a little bit of a headache. You just let it be. You miss your appointment three months. Then it's six months time. You have been six months with high blood pressure that could have been managed if you will have no missed appointment, or if you were a believer of self-care, you buy a blood pressure machine and you monitor, if there is something on scale, call the doctor, visit the doctor, etc. cetera, uh, everything will be different. So now we need to start changing to self-care, you know? You, you, it's your disease at the end of the day. You need to, to, to try to do something more, in, more internal work, not just depend on the doctor. When you see the appointment, uh, they give you a prescription, and then you go to the pharmacy, you take everyday medications. It's not like that. It, it, it has never been like that. Although it's a reality, you need to take a more active role. And who will thank you? You, your own body, your own health, your own length of life, your family, your long ones will thank you because you will be healthier for longer and healthier and happier as well with less complications. So please self-care, remember? So, um, yeah, so I think that was number 10. Um, yeah, I think maybe, maybe we can leave it like that. Let me see if there is any comment or let's just wait one or Yeah, because also if these complications can also affect your kidneys, no, they can, continue producing a scarring on the kidneys, let's say the blood pressure was high, and feeling well is just deceiving, yeah? Because uh, kidneys problems in the early stages 
uh, or in moderate stages are typically asymptomatic. Remember all the videos we mentioned? So you don't feel anything. So you will have this sense of false reassurance. And by missing the appointments, you, you miss to discover those things and give your chance the, uh, yourself the chance to, to discover this and delaying uh, the disease process of protecting your kidneys. And this is a very common issue. Okay, um, let's just finalize, let's go to 11 and then we end up there because we're saying that you need to attach to your appointment, but also you need to attach, uh, you know, need to take your medications, be concordant with your medications um, as prescribed by the doctor. No, some, some patients take the medications, but they don't take them as the doctor says. So sometimes the benefit is not as much as as if taken correctly, no? Even if you are having a side effect, don't just let the side effect just carry on until the next appointment. Inform your doctor. Let him know, let her know that you have a side effect and you are have suspended the medication, you have decreased the dose. Maybe he can uh, twist your plan a little bit and you still can receive a lot of benefit because otherwise, if you just cut down the medication and stop it, if it's a blood pressure tablet, let's say your blood pressure can go high. If it's a water, it's a water tablet, you can develop fluid retention. If it's a diabetic medication, your sugar can go high, etc. No, so keep your doctor always in the loop. No, um, and I am so on in, in in that. So actually, all my patients have my WhatsApp number and things like that. So um, it's very important the communication with the with the patient, doctor, doctor, patient, etc. No. Uh, so I cannot stress how important it is to, to take your medication, take them properly, no? Uh, also, if you take them properly, you can avoid side effects because sometimes underdosing is not good and also overdosing, no? So patients, they just, oh, I still feel the symptom. They increase the dose by themselves. Uh, if the doctor, sometimes I, I give that a leeway to my patients, for example, a water tablet, a painkiller, uh, if, if when I, if I explain and, and they have understood correctly how to do that, I'll give them the possibility to increase a little bit. They cannot probably increase, increase, increase without me uh, knowing it, but sometimes some patients can do it. But some patients, they just keep doing or they, they play the medications with themselves. Some patients, you know, understand very well their disease and understand very well how to manage medications, but uh, sometimes it, it's more complex like that. So that's why we started medicine. Uh, and there can be, you know, complications. So always communicate with your doctor, yeah? Uh, because medication side effects are very common issue. Medication errors related not only to the doctor prescription, but how the patient take it, or because there was a miscommunication between the doctor, patient, uh, pharmacist, patient, pharmacist, doctor, etc. So if you have any doubt, as they say here in Singapore, double confirm, no? So just confirm, yeah? Just confirm with your doctor, double check, that's uh, correct. Uh, with your doctor, uh, but you know what I mean, no? Always, don't, don't keep the doubt to yourself, always confirm with your doctor, yeah? Um, basically, so any comment? Today was a little bit long, because I thought it was going to be shorter, but, and then we still have more, more than 10 more, points, uh, general measures to protect your kidneys. Um, let's see, uh, any comment? Any comment, please? If you don't have a, you don't have any comment now, you can do it, uh, you can do it later um, in the replay. But remember, it's ideal that you are here, that you ask me questions. Sometimes some, some of the things, you know, we discuss a lot of things. Uh, it might not be totally clear, uh, so you can uh, satisfy and all your curiosities, or or wipe out all your war, all your concerns or, or doubts. Because those concerns or doubts, if you give them to yourself, they transform into stress. So, and again, I'm going to say, if you like it, press press like. Uh, tell people that has got kidney problems to join this group to to learn something. Uh, Okay, so I think there's no comment. So I am Dr. Francisco wishing you the best possible. Take care. Bye.